Are we going? We're going. Hello all my merry makers. Welcome to What You Working On Wednesday. I'm Becca. Um, some people also call it Whip Wednesday. Uh, basically, I just show you what I'm working on, but today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to have a little bit of everything. Um, because yesterday I went to Joann's and I bought new yarn and of course couldn't wait to cast it on. So I want to talk about how that's going. And I also got a, my order from Little Knits. So I want to open that. So I'm going to talk about what I'm making first. Leave that into talking about the yarn and how that's working. And then I'm going to leave the opening to last. Ugh, save the best for last, in my opinion. I, I love it. Anyway, all right. So first thing that I am working on is this uh, oolong tea shawl. Uh, this is a free pattern by Red Teapot Atlay. Um, I really enjoy her their patterns because I feel like it is like made for slow color changing yarn like this um, and in case you forgot this is the mandala rainbow that I bought three skeins of um, I am on row I could look at my phone but I'm not going to uh, anyway I'm, I'm to the point where I feel like I'm liking it and I really like the idea of getting my because uh, I bought three skeins to make the shawl long enough to I get two sets of rainbow basically and I'm gonna call it my double rainbow shawl which makes me happy so um and then speaking of rainbows I started working with my big twist living yarn that I got yesterday in the colorway inclusivity. Um, this is how it looks working up in the stitch that I decided to work it up in. Um, a couple things about this yarn that uh, surprised me. Number one was it doesn't straight change to the to the next color. It kind of goes back and forth a little bit, so that kind of surprised me. And then I hope you can see that there are like other flecks of color in the colors. It's kind of like when you unwrap crayons and you throw them all together and you get those little specks on the crayons of the other colors. That's what this kind of looks like to me. And normally my OCD would hate this. But it's kind of nostalgic for me and I am actually really loving it. Um, I've been using my new clover hook that I bought yesterday, but this yarn is kind of slick and I think I will be changing to my bamboo hook soon because it keeps slipping out. Who's ready to open my mystery bag? I am so okay i know i keep on saying i don't need more yarn apparently i have no self-control this is not news to anybody um but crystal from brago de crochet uh had a giveaway i don't know if it's still active or not so i apologize sponsored by little knits and i mentioned how they were on my wish list to go get a mystery bag from them. I'm like, well, how much are their mystery bags? I, I, I remember thinking it was expensive. So, y'all, 70% off. I don't know if it still is, but when I went, it was 70% off. So the mystery bag that I'm about to show you is normally like $120. I got it for 30 can't beat that kind of a deal. All right. Sorry for crinkles in advance. Oh, yes. Okay, so uh, um, 
I, I didn't just buy a mystery bag. I bought some other things too. So this is the not mystery bag. Um, I don't know why, but I have been super hyper fixated on making my own brown striped socks. Um, if you know me, I don't wear normal socks, but I became obsessed with the idea of making my own striped brown socks. That way they're boring, but not boring. Anyway, finally found a yarn that I like for that, this Heritage Prince one. It is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, um, which that makes it perfect for socks. It is 100 grams, which equals 437 yards. Uh, it recommends knitting needles size one through three. I will use a one. Um, and then for a crochet hook, it says sizes C through E, machine wash cool, tumble dry cool. And then I just really liked the colors of this. This is Cascade. I'm not going to open it because crinkles. Um, this is Cascade Yarn Sport Multi. Um, well, I might have to open it because it's not showing. All right, pausing really quick. Oh, I didn't pause. I pressed the wrong video. Anyway, um, I got three of them because uh, I remember thinking they were smaller. So let's see. This is 100% super wash merino wool. Um, yeah, 50 grams or 140 yards. So I bought three. Uh, it calls for US size five. Um, and this is color number 113 of the Cascade. And these are all the same lot number, yes? I didn't, yes, awesome, thank you. And then there's that one out of the packaging. So you can see how, so you can see how this will make striped. Uh, oh, here's how, yeah, where's my camera? Here's how it's supposed to look worked up, knitted. All right, I'm gonna try to pause you again this time. All right, these are some beautiful yarns that I got. Um, I can already see a couple that I might mix together. So this is Kate, uh, this was their grab bag. I think this was, their super wash mystery bag. Um, I have two small children. I, and I don't, I don't have a lot of experience felting. So if I buy wool, I have a tendency to buy super wash wool. Um, so K KFI luxury edition, in case you have trouble reading that calligraphy that says indulgence hand painted, 100% uh, superwash wool, uh, 3.5 ounces, which equals about 240 yards. It's a lightweight three, I would totally agree. Uh, US size needles five through seven, or for crochet, it says uh, US size seven through I nine. Look at all the fun colors in this one. Um, it looks like these all came from the same uh, luxury edition. Oh, did I say? This is called Venice at Night. Beautiful. This one, look at all the purples and blues, is called San Torini, all the specs are the same. Uh, 
This one is called Rio du Soleil, which if you speak French, that means Rio under the sun. This is called Dune of Piat, P-I-L-A-T. Uh, I don't know what that is, but look at this kind of, I mean, it is called Dune, so it does speak fall slash earth toads to me. That looks like it would, might almost uh, strike. It's showing a little bit more green than real life, in the camera than real life. That, uh, this is more a brown and orange one. Ooh. And then this one is called When in Rome. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I could see putting these two together. You know, it has a lot of the same colors. Ah! Don't you just love it when your phone rings and it's nobody? But you see how they both have like this hot pink color and then they both have this yellow color. So they might work well to... Hello, where's my camera? They might work well together. And then... Hmm, which ones did I... Like these kind of work together. I feel like... I feel like there's a like oh there's one in between here that's missing. So I might go back to little nits and see what colors they have cuz like I feel like there should be a color in between these two cuz this one's more purple and blue and then this one's more red and purple. So it's like maybe if we can find that one that's like red and purple. I don't know. And then, I'm not sure about this one. This one's not really in my normal wheelhouse color schemes. Um, I have been trying to branch out, but like, it's, it's a red orange brick with a brown. Um, <laughs> so. I would have to go through my stash and see if there's something I could pair this with. So, um, that's what's going, oh, I could call this what's going on Wednesday. I just realized that. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so looking at my calendar to, so that I can center myself and, um, cause I write everything down on the calendar, including my shooting schedule so that I can keep my life together. Um, what's going on this week? Okay, so this week, is the next video coming out is Sample Stitch Saturday. Um, thinking about just doing some basic knitting stitches for those of you out there who don't know how to knit and want to learn how to knit, I think that would be a great video for y'all. If there is a stitch that you're struggling with or a pattern you would like a tutorial for, please don't hesitate to either comment below or direct me, directly email me. I will include that in the description box below. I, my whole goal is to help people make things because I am the merry maker and I want to help you make what makes you merry.